decision here tonight. Not that I can think of right offhand other than <coughs> I build life here. I plan to raise my son down here and put him in the school system. I am willing and will do anything to improve to become a better teacher. And you heard me several times refer to them as uh, his kids and my kids because that's the way I, I treat them. They're like my kids. They're not my students. They're my <coughs> kids. And that's the way I feel about them. Whenever um, I didn't apply for this job, I was called by Mr. Sanders to come down and interview. And after you know going through several people, it did come down to me and I accepted. At that time, I had no money. My family scraped together two hundred dollars and sent me down. You want to try to plug me down? I'm sorry, didn't mean to. I believe that's all the questions I have from Ms. Davis. Mr. Bill? Do you need to take a break, Ms. Davis? Um, it's my understanding that, that you claim that your difficulties in terms of the negative evaluation and the ensuing uh, improvement plan uh, uh, but that, that came about because Mr. Sanders uh, looked with disfavor upon you based on your uh, out of wedlock pregnancy. Is, is that your testimony? Yes. In looking at employee exhibit number three, uh, it appears that uh, Mr. Sanders was concerned about your lesson plans and giving you suggestions and advice on approving your lesson plans uh, prior to telling him that you were pregnant in November of uh, 2008. Was, was that true? He never actually sat down and told me what I was missing from them. Um, he would just say they need more detail. That could but mean... says anything. lesson plans must be more detailed instruction. We must have more detailed instruction. These are not acceptable. And this is dated 214 of so that's, the That's that's whenever I asked him and got the um, that's whenever I asked him for a sample and he gave me the American history sample that I started trying to follow. So he was concerned about your performance in terms of lesson plans in advance of you telling him he was pregnant or you were pregnant, correct? Yes, but uh, they it seemed that he got but they got better as I started following that other one and then as soon as that happened, he started, started getting back. Now, employee exhibit number one, uh, this is a sample that he gave you uh, uh, concerning uh, lesson plans and, and how instruction should be mapped out for a class, correct? Yes, but it doesn't do um, well with the Well, as I call, recall Mr. Sanders' testimony, he has consistently but unsuccessfully attempted to impress upon you the need to recite an instructional objective for the class. And I think it was your testimony that you never even knew about that until the improvement plan began. But here we look at Exhibit E1 in the very first item on this document is instructional objective. Where you I never knew that I was supposed to recite them to the students. I thought they were supposed to be in the lesson plan format. 
maybe I'm uninformed, but I thought lesson plans basically mapped out what was going to take place in the classroom. Is that not right? Yes, but an in instructional objective is put one there as an objective to get the lesson plan covered. That's what you are aiming this lesson plan towards cover. It says instructional objective explains to students how life in America changed after World War One. Um, he, he's stating though that I should state that in front of the classroom is the way that he put it. And that's what I was told once I was on the approval plan is that I should lay out my objectives before the students. I thought they were supposed to be in there for a substitute to see what the objective was. Well, this document says explain to students right after instruction, uh, instructional objective. To me, it seems clear that that was what he was asking you to do. Stake out an instructional objective for your class. Explain to students what you're going to be covering. You didn't understand that back in uh, your first year uh, of teaching? Well, with the way that I was designed to do lesson plans in public. Well, you said the difficulty with what you were equipped with in terms of how you were doing instructional plans uh, from the get go, it appears. From your exhibit E3. Did you receive a, an evaluation uh, after you uh, informed Mr. Sanders that you were pregnant? Yes. What was the first day? What was the day of the first evaluation you received after you notified him you were pregnant? November. Twenty-fourth. 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 Observation or evaluation? Well, I'm just interested in one immediately following November 6th. Observation or evaluation? Evaluation, I'm sorry. Evaluation, that would be the one that's more that's up in March. So you notified him that you were pregnant on November 6th and he made an evaluation on November 15th, right? Evaluation is a compilation of, of three observations. Let, let's go ahead and just mark that the, the uh, November 2007 evaluation as employee did it.